one for Eddie. Yes, sir. say is that uh, congratulations to Hickory County Watchdogs and the front page of the Beacon News for their work in an article on Forbes magazine. And that's just another, uh, another, another situation where the national news is picking up on Hickory County activities. Forbes magazine, FAA, OEIG, and that's a growing <coughs> But today, I really wanted to focus on your airport manager. Last time I spoke, I mentioned that he had some issues. I'd like you folks to look into them. I hope you're making progress along those lines. I know in January, <coughs> Mr. Griffin had claimed to be uh, flying in and out of the Edgar County Airport on numerous occasions over the last 20 years, and he complained about the fueling situation with no credit card. Um, he didn't say he was a passenger in a plane, he said he was flying. Also, uh, looked at his application, said he was an AMP, so many words, I'm working on airplanes, I'm refurbishing them, I'm selling them. You have to be an AMP to do that kind of work, and to be a pilot you have to have a medical license. Well, <coughs> but I understand that he's lied. His application, a couple different ways, a couple different times. And he's lying about flying. We turned over proof, turned over a witness to the FAA this past week where he has been flying without a medical, which means he's been flying without a license. I'm asking you folks one more time to just please go back and look at the situation closely. If he doesn't warrant employment in Edgar County, just do the right thing. That's all I got. Thank you. Any other public comment? <coughs> Yeah. Yes, sir. In your packets, you'll find a document that looks like this. This is the budget appropriation ordinance in the front and the levy ordinance in the back. The budget and appropriation ordinance is for all the fund 100s plus the various under other funds that the county board is responsible for. I ask you to take a look at that. The committee, which most of the time was made up of most of the board members, has met several times on this. And Andy, I think you were at our last one. So hopefully uh, everybody's had a chance to, to look at this. It does represent, uh, let's see, a balanced budget for Fund 100. And most of the other funds are, uh, we show a small uh, negative in, in total, but that's only because there are uh, surplus funds available to fund some of the uh, budgeted items like TORT, uh, FICA, and so forth. Uh, the budget ordinance, or the levy ordinance, is also represented in there. And I'm kind of hopping around, I'm sorry if that's. If you'll go to the very back page, I believe, of the document that you hold in your hand, you'll see where the levy, uh, the current year we're in, we extended $3,221,109. The new levy for next year is $3.370 and $200, which represents about a 4.8% uh, increase. You'll notice that the general fund has an increase. Tort stays the same. Highway is up. CATB is up. Federal uh, aid for matching is up. Retirement fund is the same. Uh, the health board is the same. Uh, extension education is the same. Community health is up. And Social Security is the same. Highway is up. They have not taken any increases for the last four years, so that's why they're up. Um, but all in all, 
everything is like we agreed upon when we left the last meeting. Uh, everything balances the way we talked about. So we will be, we have had, Augie, we have had this on display since Friday? No, since today. Since today. Yeah. Out of abundance of caution, you might explain why we did that. Be glad to. The, there was a timing issue of how long we actually are laying open our budget. Once we approve it, and then two <coughs> weeks later adopt it. So we looked into the statutes, and I consulted with Mark, and basically the statute says, and I'm going to paraphrase, the board shall uh, cause to be prepared a budget by whomever they select, and then it shall lay open for public inspection or viewing for 15 days. Well, if we meet on, in this case, the 12th, or I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, the 12th, and if you count 48 hours from 9 o'clock on the 12th to 9 o'clock on the 26th, we're at 14 days. If you count days like the 12th, if you count that as a full day, then you can get to 15 by the 26th. So, so what we've decided to do was we've published uh, in today's Beacon News, that, that's going to be published today, uh, under the legal notice <coughs> section. We've uh, stated that the budget is on <coughs> display for public viewing and will be until the board takes final action on it on November the 26th. So we approve it on Wednesday and we adopt it on the 26th. Yeah. And out of abundance of care and caution, we put it on display a couple days early so that if there's any question, we're, we're, we're covered. Yes. Um, and Mark's, Mark's comfortable with the fact that that makes us covered? Yeah. In, in Mark's opinion, we don't have to approve it on the 12th. Is that correct? That's correct. Correct. It, it's, uh, so it just has to be laid over for 15 days and then we adopt it. So we can put it out November 1st. Sure could. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and I think it's been more of a, it's just the way it's been done and two weeks some kind of fits in there and nobody's ever questioned that. I started looking at the calendar and went, yeah, I thought yeah. 15 days, I thought that's exactly the 15 days. Yeah, and it's just, I don't want to, okay, so okay. what we've got here is just out of abundance of caution, and we're approving it, so everybody's on the same game page, and so everything is fine. So if you have any questions, and you want to bring it to my attention, please do, but there she is. Now, as far, go ahead, excuse me. If you would forgive me, gentlemen, for not putting it in a fancy binder for you and, and separating the pages out, when we get it all ad adopted, I'll have nice versions if you would so like one. Of course, they'll all have to be signed and whatnot. And anyway. they will be uh, electronically transferred to yes. everybody here yep. except one. Yep, right, correct. Okay. Uh, as far as the budget, kind of speaks for itself. We're still, we got some in today, we got 37,000 bucks of revenue. If you go to the 15 of 15 on your status 100 sheets, I'll put that down here somewhere. It's right here. Uh, you can see we're, you know, just about 100% of the year is in. Uh, we're still projecting out that we will have under $404 million worth of uh, expenses. And to that, we'll have about 1 point, or 4.15 million in uh, revenues. We're still easily uh, looking at 400 or $318,600 worth of income that has not been represented yet. So if you'll look at that back page, and you'll see our revenue total on that back page, and then our total expenses, you'll see where we're at right now. So that's what we've got there. Now, as far as the airport, you know, there's an airport advisory board meeting tonight, and to your question, uh, I'll get to that. Uh, the Joe and um, 
Dale went to the uh, TIPS meeting, and they will have a report then on that. Uh, they will also go in exec session to discuss personnel. Then on Wednesday, uh, you guys will be available. I don't know how long I'm going to be available tonight. I'll be there for a while. Uh, then on Wednesday, Joe is going to be at the meeting and make a full report to the full board on the TIPS meeting, and then he would like to meet uh, with their final recommendation on the on the uh, uh, topic that you brought up. Okay, so that's what's scheduled as far as that's concerned. They have sort of a full agenda tonight. Now, as far as the assessor, uh, at this point, uh, we need to probably charge ahead. What was the turn-in date for applications? It was October 20th. <coughs> and how many applications have we got turned in? We had two. Two, okay. Uh, and at you want me to clarify that? Well, I was going to clarify it here. No? Okay. That's, that's, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm yeah. Sorry. And it, no, you're fine. Uh, we have to check and make sure everybody's met the criteria. You know, we can qualify the individuals. <laughs> but I mean, we need to, I think, move forward. I'm just one person. But we do need somebody in place uh, in, in a couple of weeks and named. So I think the committee, the office committee, needs to meet here in the next week or two and start handling uh, that if everybody else is in agreement with that. She's still planning on, do we have, is that formal age? She does living on like January 2nd or so, okay, 2nd, something like that. Yes. And we have that. We do so have we, a fallback position that the, the chairman can appoint an individual uh, for up to 60 days, but I'm not sure that's necessary unless we run into a, a complication that we're not currently aware of. Well, I think we do have at least one person that's qualified. That's what I was going to ask. Don't yes. they have to take a test or something? Yes, that is they just correct. have one right now that has done that? That is my understanding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just need to, to move forward. Though. Is anybody have other thoughts on that than what we've just discussed? Okay. So you don't want to go ahead with uh, having a test given here? That you're right. I don't. I mean, there's been two tests, the opportunity for two different tests. Yeah, and, and there is a third test available. Right. Well, one well qualified person not that's <coughs> passed the test, right? You've actually received no people from out of the county like we did last time, right? That they're even interested. No problem not. I've only, out of the four people that have taken the exam, it's a matter of public record, uh, only one has been yes. like, Yeah, no, I mean, like Bev came from somewhere else. We have, yeah, it was advertised, have that, right? <coughs> have advertised statewide on that the supervisor website thing. Is that correct? I, I can't confirm that. I don't know how they do that if they, I mean, it was advertised in our paper, but I don't know if the state takes it from there. I mean, yeah, but if she contacted them, yeah, I, I don't know. I'll have to check my understanding was. That's but. what I understood that it was going to be made available statewide, so if there was someone On the like website. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. It doesn't have, it doesn't have to be done right? No, but it just yeah. yes. make sure we're looking at right. <coughs> Do you guys have any questions of me on the budget, a levy, or Finances for the airport. Yeah, help if I was meeting next week. And I think the last time they kind of asked me about the budget and how it works for the health department. I don't quite understand what they're asking, but they may come up again. Well, I think, uh, for Especially example, the levy, I think. The levy? Yeah. They, have to, they have to send us their, their levy. Have they done that? <coughs> yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. They did. Uh, this one. You had a uh, Attorneys' That's the reason why opinion, and I mean, we we're out of abundance. We opt to approve most of our departments that we levy for, and, and it's specific to public health. Right. And so, I, and the reason I get those, you know, I get that stuff, and I just try to send it around just as an FYI. So I just wonder why if there's a problem with because they're going to ask. I know if, if there is a problem. <coughs> 
Oh, I read it. So it sound like we're, we're in compliance. Like we're doing okay. Yeah, really we're doing everything we're supposed to do. Okay. To do that. Uh, they didn't ask for an increase, right? No. Uh, no. <coughs> actually, I went to them after because there was a little confusion. Nobody's fault. I just said, you know, we've got time. What What do you want to do? Because I had was going to increase their levy, and then they went ahead and said no because of the issues that they had out there, and they opted not to at this point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other thing I would say, that there's a letter going out to all the department heads today uh, setting forth what the, the committee and pretty much the full board decided as far as increases so that everybody's clear on what, what is happening as far as the increases in the $22, okay? In other words, the 3% oh, yeah. minus right. yeah. $222, which I need to, we may need to send a clarification out because we use 20 instead of 22, mm -hmm. so we need to send a clarification if you could. But at any rate, we want them to understand and everybody to understand, which we'll do when the time comes to send a note out to make sure they understand that uh, the board, board is helping out with the insurance by $22. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman, unless somebody else has a question. <coughs> Mr. Patrick, do you have any report? Uh, Dan? I'm at uh, Animal Shelter. <coughs> Stopped by last week. All the cameras are up and working. So it's one thing I've been working on for two or three months. The shelter's full of dogs, pit bulls, I think, mainly, but uh, trying to get rid of some of them. The doctor, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I meant. Yeah. That'd be the other. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Once he's done, I need to see him. And then, uh, I don't know about the health department, if they got the roof on or not, I keep asking, but we have a meeting next week, so I'll find out them. <coughs> Stopped by Randy's two or three times on the window Crackman building. He said it's on order, but I seen yesterday that it wasn't fixed yet. Yeah, it's amazing. You try to get work done by people in town, <laughs> and it seems like it doesn't work out. So if you want me to go somewhere else, I can, or just give in time. He said it's on order. Yeah, I, I, you know, they give you one more shot here. Yeah. Especially it's been broke for three months. So, yeah, I mean, it's you know, not it's like, like we haven't yeah. did it. I mean, we haven't really well, did it. Well, I didn't say anything. I just said, yeah, we'll wait. So. <laughs> and Jeff, you know, you say three months, probably in six months. Yeah, right? probably right. has, yeah. I'd like to compliment Augie on the election. Even though my numbers are the last ones to be put up, and everybody wanted to know if I had any votes. So. I think so. <laughs> that went very well. Went very well. Thank you. That's it. Mr. Chairman, I forgot a couple of things. First of all, I'd like to thank Augie's staff and Don's staff for the help that they gave the committee on the budget and the levy. We very much appreciate it. And it could not be done without their help. Uh, additionally, there are some transfers that I want to draw your attention to in the uh, agenda. Uh, 55000 coming from the airport land fund to the general fund, which is budgeted. 23,000 coming from the dog and rabies fund, which is, we actually budgeted 25, so that's down two. And then 30,000 coming from the uh, uh, circuit clerk, as we had agreed to with her the previous year. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all on there to be transferred. Yeah, on the, on the dog and rabies. That's yeah. 277,000, so you may want to clarify a little bit. It's a typo. Throw those agendas away. I brought out new ones just and so did get it posted it. prior to yeah. nine o'clock this morning. The yeah. agenda that you have right now, don't. Yeah, it's here. I'm going to do it while we're talking. I'm sorry. No, it's that's stuff that don't. That's why. That's okay. I I uh, missed uh, uh, eight hundred and thirty thousand that already caught. And he, I had the eight hundred and thirty up. Okay, but I had. You know where you write a check and then you write it out. Yeah. I still had it as 770, so mm -hmm. that was pretty interesting. And they go by what's written. Yes, yes. Of yes, so. yes, yes. I owe you a fudge. <laughs> One question on the circuit clerk. I know you said that this was from the previous agreement, and you know we talked to her about, and the judge was whatever was the outcome on that. Okay, he signed off on okay. the current agreement. 
Okay. What and we talked with Sandy about. Right. And then 15 from now on. Which is what we thought we were going to get. Or at least what I thought. Every year. Every year. Okay. Okay. Unless something else changes. Okay. So was there additional money for that part-time person? That fifteen, that fifteen thousand dollars, okay. and that more than covers. Good. Okay. okay. Carl. <coughs> um, the only thing I have is there's a nine one one meeting at noon today. Uh, we discuss things. Um, I had a. Conversation with uh, Sheriff Elect last week, and I was well pleased with the, the conversation. The fact that you know there's going to be cooperation, communication, and uh, I was well pleased with the. It wasn't a long conversation, but I was just well pleased with it. And Jeff's here today, and you know at some point he might want to have a comment. Go ahead, Jeff. Just listening today. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but you know, with the conversation we had, you know, and you indicated, you know, that you want to work with the board. You know, you're here to know what's going on. You know, obviously it's another month before you take over, but I'm just real happy with with the, what I heard from you. You, there's a 911 meeting. How are you with your hand? Yeah. I think that'd be good if you did. Right. Yeah, he's it's almost well. scheduled. Hmm? It's almost scheduled. <laughs> My secretary don't call him <laughs> <laughs> Well, when you get Jeff's age, the other Jeff, uh, that's something that you have to have. <clears throat> Somebody remind me. When I get this Jeff's age or something, I've got to have. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you guys told me is going to happen until it's happening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what time is the alcohol here upon you? 6.30, but we'll double check with you. Yeah, it's out there. Unless they move it. I don't know. Everything you told me about that part of the thing. You got Jeff. I recommend somebody. Jeff, 6.30 tonight at the airport for the airport advisory board. I thought it was 6. Yeah, it is 6.30. You're correct. Okay. At the airport. At the airport, yeah. yes. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Nope. Uh, just an update on our insurance uh, stuff. I talked to George the other day, I believe. Uh, uh, November, November 1, we, you know, we should be in place now for our health insurance plan. December 1 is when property casually comes in. Just as a reminder, this is like the review year. You do that for like a three-year plan, and then you've got to review for the next two, and that's what Bush is currently doing now to make sure that any ups or changes will be taking place. Our workers' comp goes into effect January 1, and they just redid the recommended time schedule uh, to make sure they got all the information they needed. And so now, on uh, November 25th, I believe, uh, this is the tentative date, anyway, for the insurance proposals to be into the Edgar County. Um, hopefully, uh, on December 8th, which I believe is a study session, uh, I think we'll just incorporate the insurance crew as a part of that. We won't have to have a formal insurance committee meeting. It'll be like for the whole, while we're talking about it, just so that everybody will know what it is. And hopefully on the county board meeting on December 10th, we'll actually be able to make that determination for our workman's comp to start January 1st. So, oh yeah, do you have anything you want to add to that or anything? No. Nope. All right. And Enterprise Zone. Yeah, I can talk about that. Chairman and I went to the Enterprise Zone meeting the other night a little bit. Thank you. Well, uh, it's on, yeah, it's on the agenda. Right. For that's, and that's <laughs> right. I got like three different sheets here. I apologize for this. Um, one of the things that, that it's throughout the county and it's been very well publicized what the the city, the county, and various businesses without what throughout Edgar County are trying to do is just to get in a, a format uh, basically to try to set up an Edgar County Enterprise Zone. I'm taking this as a very positive thing because it is something that is 
um, or working together, uh, the city, the community, where they're trying to also incorporate uh, Christmas and part of Kansas, parts of those areas, Coshocton Grain, our airport, uh, to try to put this into in enterprise zone designation. Um, it can be probably better explained um, by the guy who was there the other night, or by uh, Paul from the city from that standpoint, but basically what it would do is uh, it's going to allow, hopefully, it's going to provide local businesses, local areas with some state and some sort of local incentives also to promote economic growth in the area. And it kind of goes back to maybe even what Aaron was saying a little bit, if you, if we get people to spend local money locally, um, we think that's going to be good for the whole community. So that, that's it in a nutshell. It's basically you use uh, incentives, and sometimes those local incentives are uh, certain abatements that we're going to be offering. Mm -hmm for a certain amount, of so many thousand dollars, it's going to prorate back over a five or six year period, you know, from like 100% down to, down to nothing, providing that the new companies or whatever will keep up their end of the bargains. So, which, which is all in the resolution that you've yeah. got a copy of. Right here. So you can read it and decide if you're bored. Right. The, or, or if you have know. questions, you, I mean, I'll, I'll try to answer them. I'm not the, good, I'm not the total answer man on this thing whatsoever, but I can direct you to somebody who can. Okay? Thanks for reminding me of that. that was Did there. we contribute some money towards that? Oh, we, we haven't yet, have we? No. That's our, that's our thing. I think we'd allocated about $2,500 for that, uh, that budget-wise, right. or what we plan on doing. I don't think they've actually came out and asked us for our money yet. But that's what we all kind of agreed that's to. That's why I think it's around $2,500. Okay. Yeah, that, that is something because right. we, at the time, we looked at it like, you know, this is kind of good. And the, and the city who took the first threshold not only just did the city, they, they took that little three foot strip, I think it was three with it, yeah. <laughs> all the way up Route 1 and went off to Coshocton Green, went off to our airport, mm -hmm. went up to Christman, went over to Kansas. And uh, the way it's set up is you have so many miles that you can use that. or and they have not used it all. So just in case something would come up inside this little three feet margin, we can pop it open a little bit and shoot shoot another three feet out to there. So, you know, who knows? Uh, but Gosh, I think it's 15 square mile and they use a little over 12, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. So they have some extra. But, yeah. but this whole, this project is cost, the paperwork and all the, the, the people are doing, it's costing them $40,000. Mm -hmm. Right. I think they said, NAL's paying twenty some or twenty something. Yeah. Some of the banks have contributed, mm -hmm. and, and Paris is picking up the rest, and we're picking up twenty five hundred. Yeah. Okay. And I don't think they've asked anything of Christmas in Kansas. But I liked it from the idea. I guess that it was it wasn't just the, the city necessarily. I thought it was a good community effort. Mm -hmm. Like let's mm -hmm. let's get the whole county involved in this. So we'll see what comes out of it. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah. I don't think I my papers. I don't think I have anything else. <coughs> no, I don't pass on that. County Clerk. We talked about the budget, we've talked about the transfers, we've talked about enterprise zone. Yes, we had an election and uh, I'll have more to say about that, hopefully, in a couple of days. If not, I can, I'll have a lot more in detail as far as expenses at our next board meeting on the 26th. What was the percent of the turnout? What was the high? Was it? Uh, it was approximately 52%. Oh, is that better than normal? Well, it depends on what you call normal. Mm -hmm. for, for a governor's race four years ago, it was 54%. So we, we were close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you also had a very very unique election four years ago too, which locally was yeah. brought out locally. Yeah. I had two things. I noticed we've got a county board meeting on December first. That's just to uh, swear people in and reorganize. Reorganize. The board. There really won't be any business, or there could be. Um, well, we have to treat that as a public. Right. Uh, so we'll have public comment. Um, but I mean, as far as that's, bills. No, the intent is not to have public No, no, that's what we'll do the, the well, right. second Wednesday. Is that a special board meeting on the first? 
Yes. Okay. It, no, it's not special. It's it's posted. It's been okay. posted. That's where we'll swear. Well, I'll get the details out to you guys. Okay. Most okay. likely we'll swear in at 8.30 okay. somewhere, either upstairs or in our, our room. Swear in all of you. Everybody that's real. Uh, that was elected. 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 And then 9 o'clock at our meeting, that's when we'll reorganize. That's a workshop or no, that's, no that's, when you, that's when you elect the chairman and the vice oh, chairman. I see. Yeah. And that'll be in, in our courtroom number two where we have a board meeting. So it'll be a regular scheduled board meeting, but the purpose of it is to reorganize. Is uh, there any way we cut down the number of committees? Remember we talked about that two years ago? Like the, <laughs> the uh, garbage or waste? You know, that's... Was that been a tough one? All the meetings. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, I, I think I read when Charleston or Coles County had their reorganization meeting. You know, I had five committees. We have what thirteen or something like that. Do we actually need all of those? That's my question. So I, just, so I know some of them hardly ever meet, but maybe some of them could be combined. Is that a possibility? Well, we'll go down through them. We'll okay. go down through them right now and see. No, road and bridge and motor fuel. That should be combined, right? Basically. If if it can be. Then we yeah. combine that anyway, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, not not officially. Yeah. Right. Then you have share. That should be, I think, by itself. Insurance should be, probably. Okay. Uh, county offices. Yeah. yeah. Since I'm not on that, I can't say. Uh, airport. Yeah. That probably ought to be. Well, we also have on the county farm and sort yeah, of survey that goes in there. So that's, they're that's, all the same. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they brought a lot of them together. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these are only when you need them, but at least you have something yeah. to go to. I mean, and I'm, I understand what you're saying too, Dan. I'm just thinking. One of the reasons I felt like I needed to go to that enterprise zone one was because there's something on there. I've got judiciary, subdivisions, yeah, and claims, yeah, I think. Yeah. And then, I mean, I don't even know what all those are half the time because they don't really yeah. but, but on something like that, I thought that that may or may not sometimes deal with is subdivisions. Is that an actual committee? No, it's one of those things like, like said, you yeah. just go to because. Yeah. Yeah. You want I, the information. Yeah, I think that's important. Yeah, it's like I go to meetings not on the committee, but I like. No, right, or, or something like that. I feel like they needed a, uh, a county board member there, and Ben was there, and it's like, you know, Andy and I are kind of working now right. since Dale left on the uh, Fedco part, mm -hmm. you know, because we felt like we needed somebody on that base. Yeah. Uh, and some well, of them are even on there. Yeah. Rabies, animal control, I probably can't be combined, can it? I'm going down through. Is that, is that separate from animal shelter? Animal shelter and rabies. And rabies and and I said animal shelter. So it's rabies yeah, control and animal shelter. That's two different techniques. So you combined yourself there. Dan. You didn't know you were in charge of both of them, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. And, uh, you're, you're in charge of rabies control, too, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I talked to Henry about you know, the fox going around the neighborhood. I said, well, maybe rabbits. So she had a case. She hasn't, hasn't had a case for rabies for years and years, but we have a fox I'm going to kill one of these days. Yeah. But at least I'll get permission from the sheriff and I got it done. <laughs> it's got the mange, yeah. it probably looks bad. See, we've got a committee for that. I'll take care of it. I'm the chairman. I can yeah, you should have already had that done. Yeah, I'm working on it. we got to find some ammunition. For no, no, no. Plain subdivision judiciary. That's yeah, well, the only one probably be waste. I know we do away with that one. Solid waste planning? Yeah. Although it never meets. But a waste of time. Well, can you uh, <laughs> can you check and make sure that we don't have to have that because the state says we do or something, and we, we can eliminate it. Well, it never needs. Yeah, I think the statute gives the chairman the authority to appoint whatever committee, whenever he or she wants to. So I'll, I'll be glad to look into it. Union negotiations, right? you need, need a committee for that, or you need, right? I'm separate from other stuff. Well, in the past, the sheriff's committee, I think, took 
care of that. Mm -hmm. And I can do it. Is that your recommendation? With union is there, negotiations? Is there a separate one? Yes, sheriff and union negotiations. Is it so, two different groups? Actually, it's the same people. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, same people on both of them. Right. So. And they're building and grounds and something else separate. Yes, it is. That could be mm -hmm. public buildings, courthouse well, grounds, and annex, right. all the buildings. And I'm on that one too. I think. I think. I think no. Think no. no. How can you just thought you were. Yeah. I thought you were. Yeah. Average part of the house. Yeah. And it should be Andy. He is. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. He's chair. Sure. I'm chair. Sure. Well, that's something I wanted to bring up with you, and I don't know whether we looked at the roof on the the garage, the jail. Definitely needs redone. Yeah. I don't know when. You know what? We need to talk Wednesday and the three of us and set up a time because we need to look at that. We need to look some things at the courthouse. Okay. Just. And there's make recommendations. Several, yeah. I was going to just talk yeah. to you, not right. take up a bunch of time to figure out what we need to do. There. We need to so kind of take a tour of all the different offices, because I was at a couple offices last week, and they pointed out some things that need to look at, so we need to okay, do so a tour and do that. Okay. Yeah. I had, as far as the December 1st, the sheriff actually, the Friday before, he'll have to be sworn in, because it's 12 o'clock a.m. Tw yeah, because it falls 12 o'clock a.m. is when you take over. The first is when he takes over. And that, and you can't wait till 8:30 because something could happen at 12:01, and you got to. There's some good boys up there; they can take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> but that it is December 1st, I think, at the open of business day. But since you're open at midnight. You have to be sworn well, in first prior. on Monday. Right. This year, anyhow. Right. So you'd be sworn in. Well, like when the first time I was elected, I have, was sworn in on a Friday because of, at midnight, Friday night is when the December first was. And the other thing I wanted to bring up, I noticed, I assume this is your recommendation for the 911 board. Yes. Eric Shaughnessy. Uh huh. Okay. And that's up for on the agenda item. Right. For Wednesday. And actually. I'm sure thinking about it, that's really only going to be for two months because there have to be the appointments have to be made. No, it's for a year no, from now. It'll be November, November of 2015. Okay. When that entire board, right. it all comes off together. That's the way Chairman Keller set that up. Yeah, but since then they've had a, the state saying that you have to change that. And designate. I have to designate one, three, and at whatever amount it is. Whenever they're, if they were all. Oh, you're saying the term? What, okay. Whenever their term terms term. expire, right. and that's next no, yes. November, December okay. first. Then it'll be till him. Yes. Because he's one just year. appointed for, for that term, for the remainder of. Yeah. D. Bergen's term. Correct. To. His Otherwise, you get him not not staggered properly. Right. But yeah, these next December or November, right? Then they have to be reappointed, and it's set up for staggered terms, correct? That's all I had. Uh, I sent around an invitation, so just that you can just read that as it goes around. Um, Hanson Engineering? Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, open house. Are you going? I'll write with you. Uh, probably can't make it that night. Okay. I'm sorry. We are retabbing. The state has us retabulate votes. They pick the precincts, they pick a machine, and that's <coughs> going on in my office as we speak. That's routine. Every, I mean, you do it statewide, so it takes a while to do that too. So they pick some precincts. And so let's combine the sheriff and the union negotiations. We were on that, weren't we? No, no, that's, no we're through. If you can do that, combine them too. For the and we do. Oh, wait. 
And we do have union negotiation. The jailer's dispatcher's contract expires sometime this year. Uh, the deputies are still another year or two. Fifteen, I think. Yeah, but I think we got notification sometime this summer, or early fall, from the FOP <coughs> on the jailer's dispatchers. Like a year prior to the thing, they have to notify us. But sometime this year, later on this year, that we'll have to start negotiations on that contract. Did we decide to combine the road bridge and. Those are two separate things. Okay. I don't know. That <coughs> the ball relax in the okay. But it, <coughs> it's nice that it's combined on right. when it's done before the study session. So. But by you having separate ones, we everybody's together, right? everybody's yeah. at the meeting. <coughs> That's fine. Yeah. Was that the only one you wanted me to combine with the sheriff and the negotiator? Yeah, and then you can eliminate solid waste and if you don't think there's any. I'll check on that. I made it. Yeah. You can check. I think Mike will be upset. He's trying to. <laughs> I'll be upset. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be terrible. Is that it? Jeff, congratulations from the board. Yes. And Thank you. we hope we have a good working relationship. You four also. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. They're all sitting right here. Just you and I have been. We're all alone in there, but just these guys. That's right. It is. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. We get a second on that. Second. Our motion is second to adjourn. All those in favor by the usual sign. Aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Every time you say that, was there people the usual sign is they get up and leave. <laughs> <laughs>